Huddle up, Steelers Nation. Tank and Mike from Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Steelers training camp, Lake Trobe, Pennsylvania. Mike, what have you seen offensively the last couple of days? Not too much. Been in uh, helmets, shoulder pads uh, yesterday, and then today they went full pads. Ben sat out, Pouncey sat out. James Conner was in pads today, didn't play uh, too much contact. Uh, Juju had a little bit more playing time than anyone else, and he looked really good. I thought I thought he looked bigger and stronger than he has in the past. Did you see? It was great. Switzer catches the ball, takes off down the field, burns the whole defense. So what does Juju Smith do? He tackles him. You know, he <laughs> tackles Switzer. You know, when you got training camp going on and it's it's long days. It's not like it used to be, but it's still long days. You got to get out. You got to be able to have fun. And, uh, yeah, it was fun. The, the crowd loved it. Juju like played around like he was wrestling around yeah. WWE. All right, Mikey, 2019 receiver core. What do you think? Uh, I've always been a little skeptical of Juju being a number two receiver, uh, number one receiver. I think he's a really good number two. Today, he proved, you know, he has a chance of being a solid number one. I think Dante Moncrief will emerge as your number two. I think Eli Rogers being a veteran. You got Deontay Johnson, the draft choice, and you got Ryan Switzer. The big surprise to me is last year's draft pick, James Washington. He's had quite a few drops. Mike, uh, he has no hands. He's yeah. dropped every single thing thrown to him the last couple of days. Yeah, he's been struggling trying to separate. He doesn't have great size. He needs to really pick it up right now. Incredibly going into his sophomore season. Now, Mikey here played for the Lions. He played for the Eagles with Terrell Owens. Mike, going into your rook, uh, second season, your sophomore season, it's time to play with the big boys and step up. Washington has dropped everything the last three days. Yeah, and they've been leaning on him. They leaned on him late in the year last year, and I think they're trying to push him this year, but I just haven't seen it yet. He's got to pick it up here soon, or, you know, they've only usually keep about five, six, sometimes seven with the special teams guy. So it's going to be close on the numbers with him. I see the other guys just playing better right now, I'll playing him. Yeah, look, we realize it's only three days after practice, but there's certain things that stand out to you. And specifically, when Washington is dropping ball after ball after ball, that sticks out. So we're not going to draw any conclusions, yeah. just let, but go ahead and keep that in the old pencil and, and a pad behind your right ear there and say, oh, Washington's dropping balls. All right, as we look at the quarterback situation going into 2019, Ben was out of pads today, which I'm fine. Are you fine with that, right? Yeah, you know, you got to, you know, he's a veteran, he's, you know, getting up there in age. You got to take care of the veterans. You got to let them take care of their body. Uh, I'm surprised because it was the first day of pads, but for whatever reason, they weren't going to have him in contact anyway, so I'm, I'm fine with that. You know what, we were pleasantly surprised. The Steelers, of course, have brought four quarterbacks into camp this year. The fourth quarterback out of the University of Samford, not Stanford, Samford. He's a little fellow, he's about six foot tall. Devlin Hodges. Yeah. Yeah, he's, it, they list him at 6'1". He doesn't quite look it, but, and, and he looks a little thicker than a yeah, you know, normal quarterback. Remember yeah. Sonny Jurgensen from the uh, Washington yeah. Redskins? But I tell you, he, he reminds me, he has a little bit of a farf to him. He has, reminds me a little bit of a Baker Mayfield. He's got good movement. He finds throwing lanes. You know, he, he's, he's short, but he, he can he even, like, move in the pocket, find the lane, and get the ball to the receiver. He gets it out quick as well. So, to me, it's a pleasant surprise. And with, uh, you know, Mason Rudolph being a uh, third-round draft pick last year, and you got Josh Dobbs as a fourth run the year before, they're battling it out for number two. I think if Mason Rudolph can show that he's a reliable backup and Devlin Hodges steps up, you can actually open a roster spot by putting Devlin Hodges on the practice squad. Instead of carrying three quarterbacks, you carry two and you put one on the practice squad as an emergency guy. Yeah, and don't think we're crazy at this point to be talking about, uh, you know, Hodges out of Samford, who you and I and Mikey have never even heard of, but the guy just had something that was a little bit unique. He made things happen, but the big surprise after three days of practice, Mike, I'm just shocked by it. Josh Dobbs looks completely lost, like he's never played football in his life. Yeah, he's struggling a little bit the first Struggling day, a little. The first day he had two interceptions inside the red zone from the uh, five yard line. Today he had another one. If you want to lose your court, if you want to lose your job in, in the National Football League as a quarterback, throw interceptions in the red zone. That's what he's doing. He's got to take care of the football and he's got to be able to see the field, get the ball out quicker. They're looking for a backup. If Ben gets hurt, you need someone that's going to step in and keep the offense running. 
right now I see that being Mason Rudolph and with him being a third round draft choice last year, I think that's that's the choice, but they keep on giving Josh Dobbs the reps. They keep on giving him the opportunity to perform with the ones today, the twos in the past few days. So he's ahead of Mason Rudolph on the, on the depth chart. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out through the preseason. Yeah, there's no doubt. And again, it's only three days in, but it was so pronounced, Dobbs could not see the field. And basically, Mike, explain to the viewers, as a pro quarterback, you drop back, you have to have a 180 and see the whole field. Otherwise, you start running around like he did. Yeah, it's okay to, it's okay to move if you're getting pressure, quick pressure, but he's not getting quick pressure. He's getting protection. He just, he's got to do a better job of staying inside the pocket and moving within the pocket and finding a throwing lane to get the ball out. And that's something I saw uh, Devin Ho uh, Devlin Hodges doing a great job. Finding the lane. And, yeah, and Mason Rudolph's been doing a good job. Now, he did throw a pick later in the day in 7-on-7, seven seven, which you got to keep that down. But, again, if you look at the completion percentage throughout camp, right now Mason Rudolph and Devlin Hodges is far above uh, Josh Dobbs. So three days into camp, that's what we've seen so far. James Washington, well, his hands, they're dropping everything. And Josh Dobbs, well, it's like he's never played quarterback before. All right, Pittsburgh Sports Talk fans, Steelers Nation, guess what our next stop is? We're going back to high school, Mikey. I'm going back to my alma mater at Latrobe High School. You're going to put on your North Allegheny uniform. It's Friday Night Lights, Latrobe, Pennsylvania, next Friday. So we'll see you from Friday Night Lights at Latrobe High School Stadium. <laughs> 